Hi, I'm Pastor Billy Braff, Lutheran Church Extension Fund Vice President of Ministry Support, here for another ministry moment to help your ministries move forward according to God's will. Think of the first time you served at church, the first volunteer job you had. How did you end up in that role? I first served as an usher when I was a kid, and my dad had me serve alongside him. He mentored me, brought me along, taught me the role, and modeled it. Is your story similar? A parent or perhaps parental figure in your childhood parish worked you into the role? Or as an adult, did someone invite you to help out? I work with congregations all over the country, and the topics of volunteerism and engaging young people typically arise. There's a close connection to the two, one that we often skip over. Want young people to be engaged in church their entire life? Connect them to service in church life from a young age. Mind you, this is only one piece of the puzzle, but an important piece. Let's use ushering as an example. Who makes up ushers in your parish? What if those ushers were challenged to each mentor one other person in the congregation? Think of it like an usher apprenticeship. This weekend, start with a handful of your current ushers and invite each of them to tap one young person on the shoulder to assist them in their duties. Build from there. What if those two folks became prayer partners or sat with one another once a month while not serving? You get the idea. This doesn't only apply to young people. All our members need to be connected in service to the church. And often it starts or restarts by a simple mentorship style ask. It also doesn't only apply to ushers or worship workers. All positions in the church, readers, altar guild, elders, council members, even clergy should have a mentorship program affiliated. I first experienced a pastoral visit to a hospital long before I thought about going to seminary. My pastor brought me along and talked me through the experience. I was 16 years old. So quick rundown. First, make a list and brief job description of all the positions in the church, volunteer and employed. Second, meet with and challenge position holders to implement volunteer mentorships. Co-op them in thinking through what a mentorship would look like in their position. Third, prime the pump. Talk with some young people or non-connected members and connect them to one of the positions. Show the rest of your leaders and volunteers how easy it is to do. Fourth, help your people build on the relationships that are formed. It may start as a kid helping out your 80-year-old altar guild matriarch, but it can evolve into a discipleship relationship that will bless them both in Jesus' name. Finally, Work with your people to stretch the assumed age restrictions on your volunteer positions. Open up a youth role on your council. Assign a junior elder position for the youth group. Look at who reads during worship. I know that most middle schoolers are more better at reading than I am. I know that most middle schoolers are better at reading than I am. This creative approach to volunteer expansion is often part of the ministry clarity process we bring to congregations. If you want us to assist your leaders and congregation in expanding ministries and service opportunities, please contact us. We'd love to work with you. Connect with your LCEF District Vice President or email ministry.support at lcef.org.